a uh, unexpected phone call from my dad kind of cheered me up from talking about The Walking Dead a little bit. But, um, this is the surprise Let's Play that we're going to be doing. And it's in no way going to interfere with Dark Souls like uh, Dark Souls did with uh, Vegas. But, um, real quick, a little update about Vegas. Um, the reason why I'm not uh, uploading it anymore is because I think, I re since this is a noob's guide for Dark Souls, I really want to put all my attention into uh, doing the noob's guide for Dark Souls. And I think I can do both this Let's Play and the Noob's Guide to Dark Souls, whereas I don't think I can do uh, Fallout New Vegas and the Noob's Guide. But this... This is an actual Civilization game that I can play for anyone who saw my Civ 4 Let's Play, which is not on YouTube anymore. Or it is, but it's private, but whatever. You know that I was terrible at Civ 4. But I can actually win games on Prince difficulty. It's going to be a challenge, and it's going to be a... We may lose, but I know I can do it. It's in there somewhere. But these are the, this is what we're dealing with here. Standard map, 16 city-states, 8 total civilizations, 5 billion years of world age, abundant resources, and a Pangea map. We're going to be playing as Ramses, which gives us a 20% bonus toward production, or wonder production. So without further ado, let us get started. We greet thee, O oh great Ramses, Pharaoh of Egypt, who causes the sun to rise and the Nile to flow, and who blesses his fortunate people with all the good things of life. O oh great Lord, from time immemorial your people lived on the banks of the Nile River, where they brought writing to the world, advanced mathematics, sculpture, and architecture. Thousands of years ago, they created the great monuments which still stand tall and proud. O oh, Ramses, for uncounted years your people have endured as other petty nations around them have risen and then fallen into dust. They look to you to lead them once more into greatness. Can you honor the gods and bring Egypt back to a rightful place at the very center of the world? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? A very cool intro for each civilization, but it looks like we actually have a good start here. Usually when I'm playing on my own, I have to reload each the map like 9 billion different times so that I can uh, get a start that I like, but this actually looks really good. The two sources of stone, the river. A food resource would be nice, but... Okay, some cows. Sucks that we're, on an o or we're not on the ocean here, though choose some research. By the way, this is not going to be a guide in any way. This is just going to be playing Civ 5 because this is something that I, I think I'm just going to do when I feel like winding down. Oh, that really sucks that they didn't put us here. Jeez, what a jerk game. But this isn't a bad spot. Are we, we going to be able to build a city here that can reclaim the fish? I don't think we can. But yeah, I think this is just going to be me playing and uh, talking about things. Oh, there's a second city spot. But um, the victory we're going to go for in this Let's Play is going to be... Um, oh, that's nice. Is going to be culture victory. Because I really don't know how to conquer nations effectively early the game. I'm not a very good warmonger. Oh, look at... Th the Lord provided a way to use the fish. Okay, that was sweet. <laughs> Don't lie, guys. That 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 was a cool that was a cool turn of events. Okay, we need to claim like this city spot as soon as possible. All right. Whew, I really like this game. This some people are just okay. We have a neighbor here. This mark of Germany. One thing I really like about this game is each uh leader that you meet speaks in his or her own language, which is actually, uh, really cool. Um, so we build a scout. Alright. Oh, man. Fertile land up here. It's 
Sorry about that, guys. Um, mining. Definitely. Gonna want to get this stone up as quickly as possible. Do the tech after mining. Spearmen. Ah, oh, there's some... Man, that would be a fantastic city spot. We're never gonna be able to claim it. But dang, that would be... A... It'd be hilarious if we snagged it. But, uh... Ooh, that was kinda cool. But for those of you who don't know, I, um... I always take risks in these kind of games. Ooh, here's a hard question. Do I go for a settler? Or a shrine? Settler would get us up a second city, but a shrine would... You know what? We're going, for, we're, we're going for it. We're going for the settler. Let's do it. Now here's, the, here's a bigger question. Do we go here? <laughs> or do we go here? Because if we go there, Bismarck's probably going to declare war on us. For that land, which I don't blame him. But if we go here, we lose an awesome city. Oh, another awesome city spot. Right here. Jeez, game. Okay, I, I, I said we forego this because this is a happiness resource that we'd already have over here. So we forego that. And settle there and up here. Oh my goodness. I've never seen an abundant resource map that goes this well before. It's awesome. Ooh. You know what? We definitely want tradition. Definitely are gonna want that extra wonder help. Let's look all the way around here. Yeah, that's gonna be a fantastic city spot. Alright, city state tier. Cool. The meat. Mining. Um uh, calendar Masonry definitely. Even though I don't have a worker yet. Ethiopia. Interesting. Hmm. Definitely building up to be an interesting game. Nearby barbarian encampments. Seven turns till the settler that we settle over there. And we get another. Policy this turn. Definitely want the 15% wonder production. So now we are running at 35% wonder bonus. Settler, and then I say we go for a worker. Oh, yay! Another set of ruins. Coolie John map. Man, I have never seen. Uh, I, I always play on abundant maps. Let's be. I'm gonna be honest. But I've never seen. An abundant resource map like this before. This is downright lush, is what I would call this. That's gonna be that's an amazing city spot right there. Just all the floodplains and the sheep on a hill and the wheat plains wheat next to the floodplains. Fantastic if you could send a city like right there. Maybe we'll have to try to do that. Ooh, a lot of early decisions. Lots and lots and lots of early decisions. Good, I'm running at a solid 30 frames per second. I actually never run at a solid 30 frames per second when I'm recording Dark Souls. I'm almost always at like 15. Alright. Jeez, the floodplains just continue. I almost want to just send a settler up there and snag that city spot. Um. Open terrain. Sydney. But if we send a settler up there, we'd have to settle another city right here really quick, and then another one there. Yep. I'm thinking we want rapid expansion early game, and then not much expansion at all later on. We're just going to compensate for the um, for the massive expansion early. 
by with the uh, lack of expansion later. So I think we'll settle here and then expand back to our city. And this will be a non-priority city, even though that's going to be fantastic if we can snag it. I think it'll be low priority. Montezuma, another warmonger. Sheesh. Theodora, a religious person declaring holy wars. Sure, he's a great general. What the heck is going on? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Try to fog bust as best we can. And we get masonry, even though we still don't have a worker, but it's being worked on. Ha! Little pun there. Okay. Uh, animal husbandry. Definitely. Alright. Don't even want to know what that was. Try to give it a white berth, though. Should we get a policy next turn? That'll give us culture buildings. I think. Unless we choose to do the garrison bonus, which we don't really want to do. Sure, let us work together so you don't kill me because I have no military. <laughs> oh, you're afraid of me. That's funny. I just have a spearman, a scout, and a settler. Those are my only units. And two of those aren't even attacking units. That's wonderful. Maybe she's just been focusing on, uh, not military. Um, trying to think. Let's go for liberty. I'm, I'm kind of spreading out here, and it's not the best thing to do, but... Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, or we're safe, but I want to consolidate anyway. It's close. Yeah, I'm kind of spreading out my policies, which isn't always the best thing to do, but I, I think in this case, it's okay. Because we're just trying to focus on different things at different times, and then we'll move on later. Okay, we have to stay here. Alright. Scout, you're going to be taking the brunt of the damage there. Yeah, here we go. Here's the fight. But we had he had to do it. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Gosh dang it, another barbarian. This is looking less and less practical as time goes on. We have to move up there, and you have to move there. You move in there. Kind of trying to cut off the barbarians at every chance I get. Hoping that Byz the Byzantine Empire takes a little bit of that. Oh, hey. Another city-state. Man, the world is populated already. I want to move the scout forward first, just so we can scout out the area. Funnily enough. Okay, two turns we settle our second city. Which is as far flung away from our capital as it can possibly be. Sucks that, uh, Tyr expanded there, but that's okay. We may beat them up later. Okay, more barbarians! Sheesh. I don't have raging barbarians turned on, I know that much. If we go there, can they do anything about it? I don't think they can. There we go. Now what do we want? Um, calendar. Man, I'm not used to going this late without founding a religion. Build. Definitely. Kill that guy. unhappiness already, but that's okay. Just need to get a worker out. Uh, you build a shrine. Definitely. Alright, since we're already unhappy, we need to go for uh, the elephants first. I forget how easy it is to become unhappy on Prince. I, used to, I usually play on a I don't remember what exactly what difficulty it is, but it's the third difficulty. The one under this. 
25 gold for, for MC? Sure. Now you know where my capital is. Tier desires copper. Well, it's probably not going to be something that happens. Actually, you know what? You come up there. Oh, it's trapping that that needs. Fine, get down there. Jerks. Okay. And we're definitely going to block Tear off and be a jerk. So this looks like it's going to be a really good investment. <laughs> in spite of the fact that we're unhappy and it's so far away. It's true. I think it's a good idea. Alright. What are you guys doing? Protecting Tear, protecting Monaco. Looks like they're going to focus on city states. I'm not really going to. Okay, I have time. I'm thinking I don't want to focus on city states. At least for now. Later on, when we have a better economy built up, that's when we'll start focusing on. Okay. They're going to build Stonehenge. They're going to get trapping so we can do that as quickly as possible. Hook up the elephants. There's Byzantium. Nine turns. Sheesh. We'll have trapping done by that time at least. Okay. Wow, a lot of wines. Um, I think we're going to want to go up here next for the marble. City Desire Stonehenge. Okay, well, it looks like we're focusing on city-states in spite of what I said. Alright. I really hope we can get Stonehenge for some faith. That would be really, really nice. Found our own religion. Oh, by the way, I am playing this game with some mods. Um, the only mod I'm really playing it with is, uh... A Krakatoa... Krakatow fix... I think it's like Krakatoa doesn't appear in the middle of the, an ocean, like it always does, so it's going to appear on shores instead. That's the only thing I'm playing with that makes a difference. Um, definitely want the plus one production to be city. Speed up to Stonehenge, which I hope we can get. Yeah, let us work together, afraid lady, who I'm not sure why you're afraid. It's not like we have a, rel a religion or anything. Heck, we're probably oh, I feel like we're the weakest nation in the game. Simply because we're unhappy, and our unhappiness is brutal. But I'm willing to accept a little bit of unhappiness now for a bigger empire later. Um, we want archery so we can start setting up archers in our cities. Uh, sure. Just get you a little bit more experience. I should probably move you out of the crappy marshlands, though. It's only thing that really bothers me about this game. If you move away from a, uh, unit... Ooh, good. Move away from a unit like that, it won't load its commands... It won't load its movements fully. Ouch. Looks like we should be able to take the archers out next turn. That'll be good. Um, definitely survivalism. Yep, looks like we took the hill. Good job, man. There's an encampment cleared for Sydney accidentally. Yay, happiness. You're gonna have to be very careful with how much our cities grow, though. Especially since we, uh, we're going to be founding another city right soon. Heal. You fire on the enemy. Come on, Stonehenge, four turns, please. I want your plus five faith. People like to smile the most. Yeah, we don't like smiling. Smiling is overrated. Um, ooh. A lot of options here. I say we go for the wheel so we can connect our cities and get a nice bonus there. A lot of exploration going on for other civs. 
Makes me a little bit nervous to see their troops by my borders, but it's okay. Memphis demands salt. Well, that's probably not going to happen. Come on, two more turns. I'll be pissed. If they build, if an AI builds it on the same turn we are, because turn, turn, because that it gives it to the AI in that case, which I hate it. <sighs> Jeez, just letting us take pot shots at them. Come on, Stonehenge. Stonehenge, 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 Stonehenge. Yes, we got it. Yes. First victory. That was good. Oh, and we get to found a Parthenon. Um, what do you want here? An archer for more defense, or a grain, or a grant? Yeah, granary. Um, let's go with an archer. We don't want uh, an early war. Now oh, here's where we found our Parthenon. Monument to the gods. It doesn't last the entire game. I really like fertility rights, and we're just going to have to deal with the fact that we're going to get unhappy a little bit faster. Yay, Sydney actually really likes us, I think, <laughs> because we've cleared an encampment for them, and we've built Stonehenge for them. Wait a second. Oh, I thought that was oil over there. I was like, but it's not even modern, or it's not even industrial area yet. I am silly. Okay. Now let's start improving stuff. I think after the archer, we're going to go for another settler. So we can uh, settle that next city. Okay. Then we'll have the wheel. We can build a water mill here eventually. That'll give us a good bonus. What do we want? Uh, not sailing. Uh, whoa. Lag spike? That was weird. Writing, okay, so the Great Library just got built. Well, it would have been nice to have. It's really not in our plan because we uh, we were going for another settler anyway. But, uh, does mean that someone's more advanced than us, which is a little bit worrying. But that's okay. Horses from Sydney. It's kind of cool. Do we even know where Sydney is? Oh yeah, it's up here. Cool. Um, I think we want to send you up here. Uh, yeah, definitely the settler. All right. Uh, citizen management. You're not gonna grow. Or you are, but you're just going to grow very slowly. Okay. Take another shot. Shikui. 25 gold for an embassy? It's fine by me. They may be plotting war because they want to know where my capital is. But I think otherwise it's okay. Not quite gonna kill him, which sucks because that's gonna make us unhappy. But. Come on, yes, we got him! Okay, the, we did more damage than was projected. Very good. Continue building the quarry so we can get more production.